Groups or subsidiaries generally have to verify financial data before or during consolidation, but accountants performing this task routinely face some specific problems. They don't necessarily have the programming skills needed to compose complex validation rules using rule expression languages, or they may find their data fails to pass the validation rules, but they aren't sure why. And it can also be difficult to know when a comment is required on the validation result page and what that comment should say. The new validation solution in group reporting in SAP S4HANA and SAP S4HANA Cloud can help you with these problems. The validation solution provides an intuitive user interface that enables you to create validation rules easily. You can also run validation tasks faster and in various ways, from monitors or from the validation result page, or even by scheduling validation jobs. And on the validation result page, you can enter comments to explain any validation results. The validation solution is an end-to-end -end solution comprising multiple apps, define validation rules, define validation methods, and assign validation methods. These apps are in the Consolidation Settings app group and their names tell you exactly what you can do with them. In addition, the Managed Data Validation Tasks, Reported Data, Standardized Data, and Consolidated Data apps are available in the Consolidation Data Preparation and Consolidation Process app groups. You can use these apps to run data validation for your specified fiscal period and consolidation units and to check the validation results. Let me tell you a story to show you how the validation solution can help you. Claire is a group accountant and her colleague Kevin is a local accountant for a subsidiary. Claire wants to check whether the monthly sales expense from the subsidiary shows significant deviation from the same period last year. In this case, we're talking about a 30% or greater deviation. If so, then Claire needs some more information, which Kevin can provide by entering comments in the system. First, Claire uses the Define Validation Rules app in the Consolidation Settings app group to create a rule for sales expense check. In the rule, she specifies that the sales expense for the current period should be equal to or lower than that of the same period last year. The sales expense is calculated by summing up the data posted to the relevant financial statement items, in our case, financial statement items beginning with 00007 in their IDs. Claire also sets an accepted tolerance of 30%, so deviations of less than 30% will be accepted by the system. Then, she saves and activates her rule. And she adds the rule to the validation method and assigns the method to Kevin's consolidation unit. At the end of the month, Claire selects the Consolidation Data Preparation app group and opens the Data Monitor app to run the reported validation task for December 2016 for Kevin's unit. She does this by selecting Update Run. This brings Claire to the Manage Data Validation Tasks app, where she can view the validation results. On the initial screen, she sees that the data from December 2016 failed the validation check, so she opens the Details screen so she can see which rules the data failed to satisfy. On the Details page, Claire sees the reported data for December 2016 pass all the validation rules assigned to the consolidation unit except for the rule for the sales expense check. The sales expenses for December 2016 were $2.8 million, 56% higher than December 2015 and well outside of the 30% tolerance that she set. So Claire chooses the drill down button to check the source data at the line item level. For the sales expense for December 2016, Claire chooses the account detail link to break down the data by the operands that were set in the validation rule, in our case the FS items. Then she chooses the group journal link to look into the original accounting documents or group journal entries that have the relevant posted data. After performing the initial root cause analysis, Claire opens a co-pilot conversation with Kevin and sends him the validation results, asking him to add some comments clarifying the large deviation. When Kevin logs onto his SAP Fiori Launchpad, he receives a Copilot notification. Kevin knows why the sales expenses increased so drastically. 
So he opens the Manage Data Validation Tasks app, heads over to the Validation Result page, and enters some comments. In the Comments column for the data checked by the Sales Expense Rule, Kevin notes that the expense was approved by management for special case support. Then he sends Claire a co-pilot message letting her know that he's entered the comment. When Claire receives the message, she uses the Data Monitor app and blocks the reported data validation task to mark it as done, so she can proceed with her succeeding tasks in data monitoring. As you can see, the end-to-end -end validation solution in SAP S4HANA and SAP S4HANA Cloud enables you to easily establish data check rules without using complex programming languages. It helps you run validation tasks faster and get immediate results. And it enables you to freely define drill-through reports to investigate problems, instantly communicate results, and enter clarifying comments for reference.